sure to the like button comment subscribe and hit the bell to get notified on every new upload what's going on you guys i made this video uh, back in uh, may 28 2016 on how you can export your videos quicker from the elgato software and i'm going to do basically reboot uh, to this because the file structure that they use now is a little different um, you can still use the same tools in this video I'm also going to drop uh, two different ones that you can use. Uh, they all have their their ups and downs, but this should still uh, apply for getting you your videos done quicker. Okay? So you guys should be familiar with the Elgato software. I'm going to open it up. If it will allow me to open it up. Bring it to the front. Maximize. There we go. Okay, so the Elgato software is being stupid. Anyhow, if you have your recording here, uh, you obviously know this is 18 minute recording of Fortnite gameplay. Uh, this can take a bit to render as MP4. Uh, and if you have your uh, quality and all that stuff up and have the uh, these checked, uh, it could take even longer. So if you got the webcam, live uh, commentary and sound card to separate and be their own individual file for tweaking and editing, that helps, uh, not helps, but it can make the process even longer. So basically, if you have 15 videos here and you have all the stuff that I just showed checked, it can take a long time. It can take a truly long time uh, to export them all. So basically, in the video that I just showed you, uh, there's a program called TS Muxer. I'll leave that below. Okay? You're going to need to go to the path that you have your Elgato uh, stuff recording. Okay? The It's called the EGC folder. You're going to need to find that. Okay? So you're going to open up this program here. I'm going to go to my drive that it's on. Okay. Oops, ECG. We'll do the 28 one. Actually, it's not the 28. We'll do the 03. Okay. So... In 03, basically what they've done is every time it hits, as you can see here, that's 172 megabytes. Every time it hits around a gig, it will make a new file. So the longer the recording, the more you're going to have. It's not one big file anymore. Now, if your video for some reason is glitched, you will need to uh, try and deal with... Uh, the consequence of having to match up your audio uh, tracks because they're going to be messed up. Okay, that's only if your video is glitched. If your video is not glitched, everything will be the right length. Okay, but as you can see here, you have O1, O2, and O3. So you're going to add O1. You're going to give it a minute. That's going to air up. And there you go. You guys should be used to this from the other video. And then you have your video track, game sound, mic, and sound card. So you're gonna untick all these other ones. But first, you don't wanna hit add. You wanna hit join. And then you wanna add O2. Wanna hit join and add O3, okay? And you give it a minute to show up. And as you can see, it still shows one video track. Because what it's going to do is all three of these, because you've added the first one, second one, third one, it's going to make it uh, one file. So you can either have it make a TS file, one big TS file, one big M2 TS, or you can have a DMX and it will make a 264, ACC, ACC, ACC. But anyhow, video, game sound, mic, sound chat okay you need these three 
this is the order that it is I've noticed for all these programs that I'm going to be showing you and then if you wanted to pick a path which I believe it's the same path no it's not let's actually pick the path that okay let's see so we're going to go back to here I did all three and we'll just call it 111 save start maxing and as you can see it's doing what it needs to and with this TS file if you use Sony Vegas or any other program like that you can easily import it if you use something like Cyberlink um, it will only import the one audio track this one audio track so what you want to do instead of muxing to TS you're going to do demux okay but as you can see here this is going pretty quick and I'll show you that this is the full video this is a 28 minute video so keep that in mind and this took about what two minutes to do this it will tell you right here and done took a minute so now if we come here as you can see that's now a 2.10 gigabyte file play the video file okay this thing's gonna be retarded there we go It's a seven minute file. Sorry, I thought it was longer. So Sorry about that. That was a seven minute one. I didn't realize it was the 28 minutes. So some of them will be split. Some of them won't be. Uh, but again, if you don't want that TS file, you can go to DMX and hit start DMXing. Okay. And again, as you can see, it just made three extra files. H264, ACC, ACC, ACC. That way you can import your video audio or game audio that's if you want to mess with it and turn it down uh, you will need to disable the audio track from this i believe it's still on there your game uh your sound card capture and your microphone okay so that's how you can separate these and again it takes nothing unlike the Elgato software it can take a long 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 time okay so this is how you can end up with different different little options okay so again TS maxing and M2TS will make one file but if you use Sony Vegas on that you'll still have the three audio channels so it will work out in your favor if you do DMUX you'll get individual files which if you don't use Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere uh, you're you're going to end up having to have these separate ones so you can hit DMUX okay Another program you can use to join files is Transport uh, Stream Splitter, where you're going to go to Settings, or sorry, you're going to go to File and Open for Joining. Okay, you're going to get this little window. You're only going to want to worry about this little window. You're going to hit Add, and the same rules apply. Okay, go to where your uh, Elgato photo is so we'll do this one again and again you can highlight them all um, it should do it in the order of the last number okay you got to make sure it's in the order of the last number you want to pick a path so we'll pick here and we'll name this one two 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 hit open hit join okay and this takes about a minute or two 
and then we'll make again another big ass TS file. Uh, you can't pick what it does, it will only do TS. So TS Muxer can give the uh, individual files here, okay? And again, when you play these back, they play back fine, okay? And next, um, this is a program called MVK Toolnix. So basically, this one is a little different. <laughs> um, you're gonna right click on here, you're gonna go to add files. So let me go to the folder that I need to go to, okay? And as you remember, we have the 01, 02, 03. You're gonna add 01. Okay, it will show you your audio tracks, your microphone, your sound card, and again, same order. So you're gonna untick all these, but you're gonna wait to do that. Actually, you could do it now. But what you're gonna do is right click that one file, add files as additional parts, and then you're gonna highlight uh, these other files that you need to add. Okay, we'll add them right under, then you can come here check every other track and you want to leave the three audio on the video now if you uncheck all these and just want the video you can still do that it will make it mkv for audio only it will do M I think it's m mka okay but you're gonna pick a path for this so let's go back here we'll do this folder here 03 save start uh, multiplexing and go here and it will do its thing okay so this completed this is still going it takes about two minutes some of these will vary in how long they take some of them will actually do it pretty quick so let's open this up Okay. And as you can see, still seven minutes. All right. Now there you go. So with this one, you'll end up with the MKV. With the other two, you'll end up with the TS. And then with the demaxing one, you get the individual tracks. So the individual tracks are good for if you use Cyberlink or any low budget video editing software, Windows Movie Maker, all that good stuff. If you use stuff like Sony Vegas Premiere Final Cut, you should be able to add uh, these one video files. So the TS files, M2TS, MKV, and all these have their uh, multiple audio tracks. So if you open up it in uh, media codec info which I'm do gonna do right now as you can see video track audio 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 okay so they do support those some of the video editing programs don't but this is all you got to do okay this one again MVK Toolnix does take a little longer uh, if you can deal with that and you want an MKV there you go the other two, as you saw, are pretty damn quick. And it doesn't matter if the footage is an hour or two hours long. The Elgato software could take a long time, depending on your computer, to do this. Using the TS one to make one big file of these separate ones will take, if it's an hour, it should take about maybe 10 minutes. Maybe a little less. Uh, it's actually pretty nice to use uh, these programs then wait for the Elgato software and again if your video on the Elgato software is glitched so if you play it back in the edit program and there is parts where the video you know let's say glitches out it ends up all blocky when you use these programs it either will cut that part out or it will keep it in the video and then you may have to sync up your audio, okay? 
So I have videos on how to fix the glitchiness, but I hope this helped you guys. Um, peace out, and I will see you on my next video. Peace. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in May Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.